M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're going to have a go with the Shark RF app. We're on the same network Wi-Fi as my OpenSpot 3. So let's just see what happens. So we'll go Shark RF in the search. And there it is there. And then we'll install it. Give that a minute to install. Okay, now we're going to click open. Next thing we're going to click is the plus. And it scans and it's found my OpenSpot 3 already. Tap it, push plus. And the idea is you can have more than one device. So now to go to the sort of control screen, you have a little TV here. And it's got the ID number of my OpenSpot there. So we'll click the screen. And now this really looks will look the same as what you're used to doing regarding you know, choosing where you're going to go and what you're going to do. And the, the quick way of doing it is that we use quick setup, although you can set up profiles where it's all preset. So the OpenSpot 3 does cross mode on everything like the OpenSpot 4 Pro does. So we'll go quick setup and we're on a C4 FM radio, which is FT5. Uh, the frequency is there, look, just a simplex frequency. You do, you do need your call sign in the radio. And then we'll hit reflector and then we'll go to CQ UK, hit connect. You might get some battery error messages on my one because I need a new battery. But we're all connected. Now the thing I was looking for was the PTT sort of thing. Uh, I didn't notice that in the app, if we go back to the app, like so. There was a thing here that said PTT lock. Oh, there's the version if you hit information. Settings. PTT lock mode. Now, I actually don't know what that is. Let's save it. And then reopen the window. So possibly that PTT lock mode is for the new app, maybe on the OpenSpot 4 Pro. So I can see that the app is working with the OpenSpot 3. I can't see that you've got this app function. Let's just tap up here. Connectors. Tools. We've got set modem here. Yeah. Settings. So that looks about it to me. I can't see anything new there. I'm right now not getting the weird messages that I was getting for my battery, which is quite good. Then you've got a whole user manual there. You just go back to the original app. That's the window you hit there. And you can delete it as well. And it finds the IP address. So we do a quick crossroad while we're here. So QS. And this is what you will go C4FM. And this is what you can't do with the OpenSpot 4. C4FM, but this time we'll choose a reflector, a DMR, reflectors, connect. Oh, server is currently overloaded, retrying. Can't be that busy, it's only, only hear a few people on there. So try again, QS, C4FM radio, reflector. Now with the OpenSpot 4 Pro, the transcoding is done in the actual device. It has a vocoder chip. There you are, that looks like it may work. And that works fine. And what they're saying is that this is software driven um, on the OpenSpot Pro, no, on the OpenSpot 4. It's interesting now, is there a vocoder chip inside the OpenSpot 3? I don't actually know that. So there you are, so messing around and um, tap the battery here. That's my main problem is the battery. I'm not getting any bad message. I'll see it going up and down. So that, you know, that's because there it is there. Battery charging and I did unplug the battery, which I suppose it did stop that. It just said fault battery not connected. So I just thought if I could just stop the notifications, that would probably be more bearable and then ultimately I can buy a battery but in the UK about £80 delivered maybe a bit more but they do clip in quite simply so bye for now 7-3 all the best